So this is uh, how we get the software for the X32 to be controlled in the computer or in the iPad or iPhone. So you go to Behringer.com and you go to support, downloads. Then you got a whole bunch of applications from which you will choose mixers, then uh, digital, and then you go to X32 probably. Yes, X32 rack. Perfect. Apps. Mac. That's it. And then you just download the uh, application that comes uh, right down there. Fine. So once you download the thing, all you have to do is go open it up by clicking on it. And there you go. You get this application, which is basically your X32 that just appears on uh, on the screen with a bunch <laughs> of faders. Oh, actually, there's 20 faders here. Oh, here it is. When you extend it, you have all 32 faders and uh, all controls are in there. It's yet. not yet connected. Uh, now you got to still connect this thing to the X32. You probably have to just go and configure it. Yeah. On the X32, you have to also connect your X32 to your Wi-Fi network in order to let it communicate by Wi-Fi. This is the first time we ever do this, so we're just really doing it live. That's why you see so much hesitation. <laughs> So basically what we did is we just assigned the numbers here, the IP address to the same as uh, the computer. But I'm not sure because this one is communicating through USB only and not network. Mm -hmm. So you need to connect a network cable from here to there. Otherwise it's not going to work.